Now that summer weather is here, we know a lot of you want to slim down or just eat a little lighter and healthier cuisine. That's why we've invited Chef Laura Slaver from Celebrated Cuisine to join us in the Stone Creek Kitchen this morning with three different light recipes that we think you're really going to like. I put you to the test and you delivered. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Well, that's the uh, that's the plan, right? <laughs> I, I, I love the relationship that we have where you can call me and you say, well, what, are you, what are you feeling like? Yeah. What, what do you want? And you asked for recipes for bikinis. I, well, I didn't say bikinis because I, I have not been in one of those for, you well, at be. least seven you years. Should <laughs> you should be. But I did ask for something that was lighter, that I wasn't going to have to turn, you know, the, the, the stove on or the oven on. And this was, it completely fit the bill. We are going to do that three times today, as a matter of fact. All right. Even with dessert. Ooh. Which has chocolate. Oh. See? Ooh, I got an ooh and an O. You got an ooh and an O, yes. Yes. Okay, so, so what is this that we're making right here? First thing we're going to make is a black bean dip. Okay. okay? And um, I call it black bean hummus because people relate to the word hummus. But it's not hummus at all. It's just a, beer, uh, a bean puree. It's hummus okay? with the fingers. With the fingers, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, you got to have a little quotation mark. So basically, our ingredients will consist of black beans, which are great, high in prote uh, protein, high in fiber. Yeah, so the girls were just talking about them wanting to see a little bit of protein with a little bit of fiber. So this would completely this would work perfect. for one of three-hour meals. Exactly. Plus, beans are considered a complete protein because they do have complex carbohydrates also. So okay. they, well, when your body uses it, when your body consumes it, it actually gets to you. It's, it's a twofer or a threefer. Okay. So we're going to create some new words here. So we have some black beans, we have a little bit of garlic, so we'll actually throw this into our little mini prep. Um, we're going to puree that in a second. And then to this, we're going to just spice it up, and okay. that's it. So it's really going to be really good. And instead of hummus, where you're adding tahini, which is a sesame seed paste, and a lot of olive oil, which, you know, raises the fat content, we want to keep that low, too, because okay. we, again, are going after the word lean. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to make, like I said, some noise. I love making noise. Small but mighty. I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're going to add our black beans to this. This is just one can of black beans. Make sure when you use canned beans that you uh, drain them and rinse them. Okay. Okay, because they're going to have a little bit of sodium on them, so we want to get rid of that excess sodium. That way we can control the salt content of what we're eating. Okay, to this we're going to add a tiny bit of grapeseed oil. Now, we're not using olive oil. We're not using vegetable oil. We're using grapeseed oil, which actually has a high smoke point, so it's good to cook with, but it also has a very neutral flavor. Okay. And it's, uh, it, it's a good oil lesson because we always default to olive oil, it seems, because we keep hearing how good it is for us. Well, you know what? Rachel Ray made us think that it was the best thing on the planet. And it is really good for us. But what you have to remember is that it will actually impart an olive flavor to everything that we're eating. Okay? So okay. we don't want to make sure, we want to make sure that doesn't happen in the case of our hummus today. So in almost any recipe, if we were choosing to perhaps have a lower, you know, whatever you call it, fat or whatever, could, could we, is that kind of a a go-to? Um, no. No. Oil is oil. It's always going to have 14 tablespoons of fat in a tablespoon. Oh, gotcha. That's not going to change. It's just the flavor that it's going to impart. Paprika or chili powder? Smoked paprika and a little bit of ground cumin were the okay. two things I just added. We're also going to add some chipotle. Okay, so this mm. is chipotle in adobo. So a jalapeno that's been smoked, dried and smoked, and then steeped in an adobo sauce. You find it in a can like this at the market. Okay. okay. What I do is I puree the whole can and then store it in my refrigerator, and then I'm able to take a little bit of the puree whenever I want and add it to a dish. When you puree it, do you, you know, it has a little bit of the liquid in there? You a whole thing. The whole everything. thing. Keep it in there. Yes, because okay. that's the fabulous part. Right. Okay, we're going to add a little tiny bit of kosher salt. We're not getting rid of any of the fabulosity. No, all fabulosity <laughs> included. Yes. Okay, otherwise need not apply. A little bit of lime juice. Okay, we'll see just how good my muscles are right now. So there we go. Just it's a probably little less bit. to do with the muscles and more to do with the, the not hard so, line. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then here's the, the, the little trick here. Instead of adding more oil or anything to get to a smooth consistency, uh -huh. I'm going to use water. Oh, okay. Okay, and because with all my spices and everything in here, it's actually going to just give me the consistency I need and not be diluted. Okay, so make some more noise. Just, uh, so, when we do this, and we're talking about, you know, just trying to stay healthy and keep it light during the summer, you said vitamin C, you said, go ahead, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> vitamin C, you said high fiber, yep. complex carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates, okay. vitamin D, well, and that's the other thing, too. So, it's one thing to make a dip, right? Right. But then what do we stick in it? Chips. Chips. Exactly. So, Usually. I brought you the mighty jicama today. Okay? Which, by the way, I love jicama. This stuff is awesome because it always takes on the flavor of what you're dipping it in or cooking it with. And well, it has great a naturally grill. kind of crunchy, sweet thing Exactly. Going on. And it's strong enough to withstand our, 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 our dips. Mm. Okay? I love jicama. High in folic acid, high in magnesium, high in, uh, high in fiber, mm -hmm. low in calories, no fat. You know what? I, the kids, I cut this up for them in little cubes. 
and um, I drizzle just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of agave nectar, mm -hmm. and they eat it like it's candy. Well, because it tastes that good. Yeah. So, and then, you know, just like you're about to do, you want to make sure that, that you taste your dip with what you're serving it on, because that's, that's going to make garlic right there. Well, maybe you shouldn't have that <laughs> little bite right there, because then, you know, we're just not going to be having a close conversation. Mmm. Mm, you can taste the smoky. Yeah, from exactly, from the smoke, from the smoked mm. paprika and the chipotle. And we're going to use the chipotle again in our next recipe. That's surprising. Well, not surprising, but when you look at a bean dip, you think beans. Mm -hmm. That has a lot of different layers of a flavor. A lot of more depth. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love it. All right, that's one you're going to have to stick in your backyard um, arsenal of things to pull out. We'll stick around, though, because in 15 minutes, Chef Laura is going to be making a quick ceviche and grapefruit mango jalapeno number. So we're going to have all the deliciousness of the ceviche, but it sounds like grapefruit is going to give us that little extra surprise and that little extra punch.